Hello lover friends, today's jam is about migrations and squashing them. Sounds funny, but it's true, trust me and follow me. I'm here inside this application and if we take a look at my migrations, you can see I have a lot of them, a lot of them and yeah, even more. So we have 500 migrations in this application which is not unusual in the current project that I work on. We have around 600 migration and still growing. And yet this can become an issue. Let me show you why. So first let's run our migrations here freshly. So every migration is being run. And you can see this takes a little bit, but not too much, even though we have 500 tables here, which needs to be created. So yeah, it seems like not a big of a deal but it can be, and especially for testing. So the reason is that when you run your tests, also your database needs to be migrated. And if you're using an in-memory database, it could be still fast, but if you're using MySQL, which we use here, this can become an issue. Here in Tinkerwell, I'm using the benchmark facade and level to check how long it takes to migrate all of our migration. So let's run this together. This takes a couple of seconds and we should see a result here. Yes, yeah, so around 3.6 seconds. And what's better is what you can even do is say you want to run this for 10 times and then see kind of average because the first result that you get is not always the correct one. So let's run this as well. And fast forward here, we have the result, which is four seconds. Okay, so it takes four seconds to run our migrations, all of them. And if you run your test, this often needs to be run for every single test that you run. Not for every single test method, but for every single test file, which still can be an issue if you have lots of tests. So what can we do about this? In Lava, we can use an artisan command, php artisan schema dump. And what this does, it takes all of our migrations, which we have here, and it brings them into a MySQL file here on the database schema mysql schema by the way the first name here is the name of our database connection and inside here everything that we're doing inside our migration file is now being dumped here into this sql file and the cool thing about this is now the next time that we're going to run this it will not go through all the migrations it will go through this sql file so if we run this command now again let's see I skipped the part where you have to wait and now we are down to 2.5 seconds. So this is 1.5 second seconds that we saved now when we run my crate fresh. And again, if you run this a lot inside your test, which you should do, then this takes a lot of time. And yeah, this is a big time saver. Also, what you can do is inside your application, you can go to my migrations and you could even delete them now, maybe to just to clean up your application because you don't need this anymore. Good to know here is when you run new migrations, of course, this SQL schema file is not being touched. So only if there are no migrations in your database, then this is being used and you can still now create new migrations and these would be run after this file has been loaded. This artisan command was edited four years ago already by Taylor himself. Give it a try and let me know if you already use it yourself in the comments below. See you the next time. Bye.